Hey, Krista O'Leary here. Welcome. So I'm so excited that you're here. And I just wanted to share a, a little story with you that you know, hopefully will inspire you in some way. Um, hopefully it will, it will demonstrate to you how important your space is to creating the, the home and the life that you're hoping to create. Um, so I just wanted to share that this past, you know, I think you've probably heard me say before, um, especially if you've been part of the Home and Harmony community for some time, but two years ago, our house was destroyed and we had to move into um, a rental property. And at that point, you know, it was a beautiful setting. It was um, actually in a country club uh, gated country club setting and the, and the house itself was really beautiful but I just never felt like it was home because quite frankly it wasn't right <laughs> so in that moment I decided to set the intention that that space um, or no actually I set the intention that that year was going to be quote unquote the year of travel well that year of travel <laughs> turned into two years of travel and and the reason being is that we ended up in that house for two two years um but the reason i'm sharing that with you is that in what i did was i created i had this intention that it was going to be the year of travel and from this past april um to uh this past april so in one year's time i had I took more than 20 trips um, and took places all over, um, you know, everywhere from uh, London a couple of times, Barcelona, Munich, Prague, um, to closer places, but that were still trips, um, you know, Burlington, Vermont, North Carolina, South Carolina, Miami a couple of times, Key Biscayne. Um, and truly, the list goes on and on. I can't even actually remember all of the places. I know that the last video I shot um, was in the Bahamas and at the one and only, which is just an incredibly beautiful resort. Highly recommend. <laughs> I especially love, love, love our butler that we had there named Prince. He took such good care of us. He was amazing. But anyway, the point to my story is that when we were living in that house, I set that intention that it was going to be the year of travel. And then I set my space up to make sure that that intention came to fruition. And I did specific things that like um, putting reminders around the house that that was my intention, things that you know I would make me smile for, you know, I was in Hawaii. A great example is, you know, I have this coaster on my desk. I don't know if you really can see it, but it's a map um, of one of the Hawaiian islands. Um, you know, and I have my, I put my iced tea on um, that map every day when I'm, when I'm working. So, you know, I put reminders around my space. I also was in a energetic space or a mindset space of allowing. And what I mean when I say that was, you know, I got a call asking me if I would go to London, uh, to spend some time at Windsor Castle to actually be able to stay on the grounds of Windsor Castle. I was invited to do that. And I, of course, would say yes to that. My bags were packed in an, an instant and, and I was on a plane headed off overseas. Um, so I, I share that with you because I think well, first of all, I want you to know that you absolutely can set your space up to help you manifest the life, the goals, the dreams, the aspirations that you're hoping to create for yourself. So that's the first um, thing. You need to set the intention, um, set up your space for success. And then what's really important is to allow, you know, again, I was in an, an energetic space and a mindset space of allowing those things 
to show themselves and manifest in my life. My, my suitcases were at the ready. You know, I had specific, um, specific, uh, hangers in a specific spot in my closet where I knew that those were my travel clothes, right? And I could just throw them in a travel bag and um, dash off uh, to, to fun and exciting adventures. Um, you know, and I, again, I share this with you because I want you to know and really sit in that sense of possibility. I recently, I love this, I recently was talking to one of my clients and we had a session. And one of his big things was that he wanted to create more abundance in his life. He wanted to bring on new clients. And so I, you know, we talked through all of these things, how to set his environment up um, in a way that supported his success, how to create intentions around um, supporting his success, how to, all of those things to really um, help shift his his mindset so that he could begin to create that reality for himself. Um, and one of the biggest things was sometimes, like maybe you've set your space up for success or maybe you've put intentions out there in the world. Maybe you've tried to manifest the best you could. And sometimes people get blocked because they don't then allow those manifestations to actually come to fruition in their lives. And sometimes it's helpful when you have someone that can truly believe in you um, and believe in the possibility of what you're hoping to create in your life. So for this particular client, you know, I really believe in him. I completely absolutely 100% know what is possible. And I think I actually at this point have a bigger vision for him than he even has for himself. Like, I'm so excited at what is possible in his life. And the amazing thing was that the next time we got together, he and it was it was actually less than one week's time. The next time I got together, he said, Christy, you're not going to believe what happened. But I have seven new clients on the books um, for this week. I have seven new new client sessions um, on the books. And I knew it was possible for him. He didn't, he couldn't see the possibility in that. But what he did was he allowed himself to open to the possibility because he had someone there seeing the vision for him. So I share that with you because really that's, those are three really important steps. It's about setting the intention to understand, get clear on what it is that your goals are for your home. What is it that you want your home to be for you? What are your life goals? What are your aspirations? What is all of that? What does that look like for you? And then set your environment up to be in alignment with all of those those goals and intentions and aspirations and then allow yourself to sit in that space that mindset space that energetic space of possibility and if you can't quite draw the bridge to all of those things then get support have somebody there that really truly believes in you there must be hopefully somebody in your world that really truly can see that bigger possibility, that bigger potential in you the way I did for my client. So um, with that said, I also wanted to share that tomorrow, Thursday at noon, we I am going to do a Facebook Live um, on the Home in Harmony Facebook page. So if you go to Home in Harmony Facebook page um, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be there live and I'll answer your questions so we can talk about this. You know, what are your intentions? I can answer anything from, you know, how to set your, your home environment up for success, you know, anything from the actual tactical of how to set up a, a aesthetically pleasing environment to how to manifest your goals and dreams in your environment, how to release overwhelm in your life, any of those things 
um, that you're interested in getting those questions answered, I am totally there for you. I'm really excited to be there. Um, so please join me tomorrow, Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on fa the Facebook page for Home in Harmony. Again, that was Home in Harmony, and I believe the links are on this email or below this blog post. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and have a beautiful day.